Welcome to PLP. This video covers the installation of thermal line suspensions. Conductor preparation. Wire brush the location where the thermal line will be placed to ensure that the surface is free of dirt or oxidation. This is especially important if being placed on an existing conductor or for a repair application. Plumb insulator string and mark conductor at the center of sheave. Do not scratch conductor. Lift the conductor beyond the ends of the rods to allow enough clearance for the application. Inner rod application. Apply the factory marked center line of the inner rods to the mark on the cable. Wrap right around the cable, leaving the last 10 to 14 inches on each side loose. Apply the other rods with subsets or individual rods as needed. To complete the application, use both hands to wrap the rods simultaneously into position. Do one end, then the other. Note, check to make sure that all rod ends are within two inches of each other. Remove and reapply any rod that exceed this limit. Align the center mark of the insert with the center line of the applied inner rods. Tape into place with a thin layer of tape. Center the first outer rod on the insert with color mark positioned out and wrap over the insert. Apply sufficient length of rod to assure stability, leaving the final foot or so on each end free. Make sure all rods are applied evenly around the insert and that no rods are crossed. This is a proper application of one rod. The curvature of the rod follows the contour of the neoprene insert. This is the improper application of the rod. Do not wrap rod around the insert. Using both hands, encircle the free rods at one end. Twist all rod ends into position simultaneously. Place the two halves of the housing on either side of the insert. Slide strap into position and tap into place. Spread the ears of the housing and tap strap into place again. This will align the hole so that the bolt may be inserted. Tighten the nut until the lock washer becomes almost flat. Do not over tighten. Do not squeeze ears of AGS housing against fitting. Make sure that the locking tab on the nut faces the end of the bolt. This completes the application.